going on guys? I am here tonight in my gear room and spring backpacking has begun for me so I thought it was time to do a little video of some new gear, some things I'm doing different for this season. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I have here is a new set of trail runners. These are the Ultra Temp Trails. I've been out in these quite a few times. I love them. Prior to these, I had the Lone Peak 3.5s. I would have got the 4.0s, but the first production of them had a problem with the tow box, and they were coming apart. Ultra has said they've got it corrected, but I don't know. Uh, before that happened, I got the Temp Trails, and I really like these. Love the shoes. The second thing I have here is a uh, Helinox Chair Zero. <laughs> I've had this out a couple times, two or three times already, so you may or may not have seen it in one of my videos. It adds about an extra pound to my weight, but what it provides in comfort is just well worth it to me. Uh, I love sitting around this thing, sitting next to the river, the lake, the, by the fire. Uh, you'll see this a lot. This is going to come with me probably on most trips this season. So the next thing I have here is a Kelty Gunnison three-person backpacking tent. Uh, I got this from Sierra Trading Post on sale clearance for $39. Just an incredible deal. It's been out on one car camping trip to Moab and it worked very well. And this will be for trips when I bring my girlfriend and her daughter with me. So we're looking forward to getting some use in this, and we'll move on to the next. Another tent. REI Quarter Dome. One person tent. Weighs 2 pounds, 7 ounces. That's pretty dang lightweight. This isn't going to replace my Nemo tent. I still love my Nemo tent, but the Nemo tent's non-freestanding. And those who have non-freestanding tents know sometimes there's conditions and environments that you go out in where... You just need a freestanding tent, and that's what I have this for, is for when I just need a freestanding tent, or if I just want to do something different. So, you'll see this out quite a bit. Next thing I have here is a Nemo Tensor sleeping pad. Um, this is the second one of these that I have. The other one is just a non-insulated, regular, regular. This one is insulated, and it's regular wide. I slept on it one time last week, last weekend and sleep was awesome. I slept so much better with that extra room to move around and get a little more comfortable on the sleeping pad. Um, so yeah, this will probably be my new go-to sleeping pad. You're gonna see this probably a good portion of the season. And uh, moving on to the next. A new fly rod. This is the Orvis Clearwater. I love it. I used it today for the first time and wow. Such an upgrade to what I was using in the past. And you will definitely see this with me most trips uh, this spring, summer, and fall. You're going to get to know this guy. So I just drained the first battery in my brand new camera. Uh, that's my last item that I'm filming on right now. It's a Canon M50. Really excited to have it. It's a big upgrade and step up from a GoPro, which I've been using. But I definitely have a learning curve. Uh, today I took it out on a fishing trip and just played around in manual mode. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you some of the clips I have today. They're not the best, guys. I apologize, but I'm learning. And hopefully in the near future, I'm able to bring you guys better content and just overall have a better channel because of it. So that's it. I'll probably pick up little things here or there, but no other major changes. Um, looking forward to having a great season and uh, check out some of this footage. Let me know what you guys think and how are you running your DSLRs? Are you guys doing, are you full manual mode? Are you using some of the priority modes or automatic? Let me know. Give me some feedback. I promise you I will learn. So, thanks guys. Have a good week.